we can be the, the, the bridge between the community and some of these higher stakeholders. Tonight, a plea for lawmakers to connect with grassroots organizations to address the disproportionate impact COVID-19 is having on the black community. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker has been following this story since Indiana released its first data about COVID-19 and race. Tonight, he shows you what lawmakers are asking the governor to do and how the community activists want you to help. We are directly impacted ourselves. We are from this community, you know, and so we know these people organically. That's why D. Ross says legislators and other community stakeholders should be getting in touch with people like him to address COVID-19 and its impact on the black community. We know exactly what we need and don't need. We are the answers to our problems and they need to understand how important it is moving forward to having us, the community at the table. This comes after alarming statistics show African Americans in Indiana make up 20% of COVID-19 cases and deaths, while only being 10% of the state's population. The Indiana Black Legislative Caucus sent this letter to the governor urging him to adopt the measures they included in it. Testing in triage centers in black communities, anti-racism training for health workers, and an outreach campaign geared toward African Americans are just a few of them. All recommendations those in public policy say could address the overall issues in the black community caused by decades and decades of discriminatory laws and practices. It boils down to actually just calling things being related to race. I think often the language gets conflated in things like poverty or crime, but really we're seeing that these racial disparities are happening regardless of income, regardless of criminal history, regardless of some of the uh, behaviors that uh, folks like to kind of conflate with race. For D. Ross, this COVID-19 outbreak is personal. It's why he's fighting so hard to help those who are most vulnerable. This virus is real, it is very real. I have three family members on life support fighting for their lives. I lost a family member and a friend to this virus. Uh, we have to take this more serious and urgent. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. In response to their letter, Governor Holcomb says he's looking forward to working with the Black Caucus. The Ross Foundation is partnering with several other community groups to get out much needed essential items and information.